as they're in pretty good field position here. Jones from the shotgun, throws across the middle. He's gonna find Thompson, but it's a tackle by who else? It's Tucker Akakwa, welcome back. So now third and 11, this time Jones, he's gonna try to buy some time, roll out to the right, Give throw back that. to the left. It's picked off, Tucker Akakwa, welcome back, fella. The junior leader on defense. You can just see the leadership. I mean, just the impact on the game. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And welcome back to the River Cats Dynasty. And we are here for our final rival game of the season. We have three rivals Missouri Tech, who is the biggest here in this upcoming game, Tulsa State, and also Missouri State Tech AM, M Stam. But Missouri Tech is our biggest rival. We save the best for last. They are seven and one. Coached by former Whitetail Tucker Aconquo. He has had great success with them. And you can just see he's on his way to maybe possibly a title contention. Maybe we'll have to see. So look at their team. They are very well balanced, well disciplined. It's a Tucker Aconquo coach team. He was great on defense. He was not the most skilled, but he was definitely the most disciplined player I've ever coached. And you could just see who he's coaching up. DJ Smith, a certified top five pick in the upcoming NFL draft. He is leading his team in tackles. Look at this, 55, six sacks from the defensive end position. That is unheard of. It's usually a linebacker who's leading teams in tackles. So let's hop straight into the action as we are on the road. And let's see what we can do in front of a sold out crowd here as the first pass is out to left side. It's gonna be caught by Isaiah Ford, but that's gonna be a flag on the play. And it looks like this one is coming back clipping, and that was on Adrian West. So that brings us back for a first and 16. Here is Davis Lee. He's gonna scramble out the pocket, makes a man miss, and he falls forward for about a gain of 12. And that's where he is lethal. He uses his legs, and he gets some good yardage. So that brings it to a third and five this time. Lee tries to get rid of it, but gets hit on the throw. The pressure is right in his face. And now Missouri Tech takes back over. And here are the Mavericks out onto the field. They line up with trips under center this time as Doyle. He throws across the middle. It's gonna be caught. Jackson breaks a couple of tackles and he picks up 19 yards. They have a ton of weapons. They are a well-balanced team, both offense and defense really well. And here, Doyle throws to the right side. Jackson, and he just gets outside of the pylon. And now that brings them to the one yard line here for a first and goal. Handoff, Hodges breaks the tackle, and he's in. That's a touchdown. And there is the first touchdown of this rivalry. Seven nothing here for the Mavericks. And now we come back out onto the field as we line up with five wide to start out the next drive. So here is Davis Lee, he throws to the right side. It's Isaiah Ford. He has been really impressive. He was hurt for a couple games. He's back 18 yards on that catch. It's a first down. He's gonna be a part of the future for sure. So here first and 10, here is Davis Lee, picking up a block maybe by Tyree and he picks up nine down the left sideline as he gets pushed out. And now we make it across the 50 yard line to about the 39, they send the pressure, we throw. It's a wide open Isaiah Ford, he's got it. And he will get inside the 15 yard line for the big first down catch. He has been impressive once again. And now Darrell Arenas checks in the game. Lee throws to the right side. It's caught, touchdown, Adrian West, 13 yards. Nice drive put together that time by Davis Lee. We tie this one up at seven. That's a beautiful throw by the lefty. And it's 7-7 here as Missouri Tech comes back out onto the field. Let's see what Tucker Aconco dials up on this drive. First play, handoff, Hodges to left side, picks up a block, and he breaks free. He's going to be gone. It's a touchdown, Hodges. Man, our run defense is definitely something that has to improve if we want to contend with the conference and not even non-conference teams. I mean, our conference is tough. It is really tough. And you can just see Missouri Tech is a top 10 school for sure for a reason. 
So here we are back on the next drive, running an option after a penalty, brings it to a second and 20, and that's going to be Davis Lee. He takes it for a gain of five. So now third and 14, here's, here's Davis Lee scrambling to the left side. He throws across the middle. He had an open man, but he threw it maybe a bit too late. That was Isaiah Ford almost picked off on the play. And now Missouri Tech takes back over as they start out throwing the ball to the right side. It's caught by Miner, and it's going to be a tackle that time by Nick Sturger. Looks like he was in there. And that brings it to about the 30-yard line. Under center this time. I love the fullback formation that they have. And they pitch it this time to left. Hodges gets tackled one-on-one -on -one by Wyatt King, possibly saving a touchdown on that one. And that brings it to a third and eight. They run out with three wide receivers, actually four out there on the field. Here is Doyle, clean pocket. He's got all day to throw. Get to him, defense. But he throws, caught Davis. First down tackle by Javon Warren inside the 10-yard line. And, man, he had all day to get rid of that one. So Hodges inside the five, gets it, and it's a touchdown. 21-7 to here. Missouri Tech is not playing any games. And now we're down by two scores with two minutes left here in the first quarter. So here is Davis Lee trying to run the ball. This time it's Deion Carter who gets tackled in the backfield. And take a look, he will be shaken up. He was tackled by the All-American DJ Smith. And that brings it to a third and three eventually. Here is Lee, throws on the run. And it's just slightly overthrown intended for our man Booker on the outside. And now that brings it to a fourth and three throw across the middle and it is incomplete. Davis Lee just misses an easy one. And that is thrown behind the receiver that time. And now Missouri Tech takes back over. And now here is Hodges on the next play. Pitch to the left side. Look at the blocking. And he gets stopped by Ru Ming at about the three. And now first and goal for this Missouri Tech team. As they come out here with a jumbo package to the left side. Hodges, he's free. Touchdown. And 28 to 7 here. Jacob Hodges has scored every single touchdown, it seems like, for the Missouri Tech Mavericks. He's got three so far. It's 28 to 7. And we're still in the first quarter. So here's Davis Lee. Look at the pressure. They're sending from both sides. We should have got rid of it to the flats that time. But we lose 11 yards as that brings it to a second and long as we start the second quarter. Here is Lee trying to scramble out, but he gets sacked, and that is the All-American who gets to him, DJ Smith, one of the probably going to be a top five pick in the upcoming draft. And now we are down 36-7 to here in the second half as Missouri Tech takes back over, and here is Hodges trying to run the ball. He gets tackled by Javon Warren, our leading tackler, and that brings it to a third and five. Doyle throws. It's a big hit by Wyatt King. Take a look. He picks him off of his feet. And that brings it to a fourth and one. Let's see if we can come up with a stop here. Hodges, handoff. But the blocking is just too good. Jerry Pinnon saves a touchdown on that one. But it's a gain of eight as Hodges goes over 100 yards on that carry. And now they get it inside the 15. Quick throw. And it's going to be Dominic Johnson. He gets to an eight-yard line. Tackled by Kyron Favors on the outside. And that brings it to a second and two. Doyle throws across the middle. It's a touchdown. Donnell Davis, he's got it. And now this game opens wide open. And now let's just fast forward to the fourth quarter. I mean, no need to show the blowout from here on out. 78 to 7 as Missouri Tech has straight dominated in this rivalry game. And here is Rondé Floyd in the game. He's actually a cornerback, lined up at receiver, but he is he does show some good receiver skills. He's gotten in just a little bit. So here's a catch on the left side. It's Jeremiah Harris, the backup tight end, and he picks up 12. And I did use that two tight end package earlier in the season. I did go away from it a little bit just to see what other players have. As Phoenix Frazier is in the game now. Here's a throw to the left side. He gets hit, and it's picked off. And that one will seal up this game. Phoenix Frazier comes in for that final drive that time, throws an interception, and Akeem Jack comes up with it. And that is going to be the game as Missouri Tech actually just straight molly wops us 85-7. to And that was the number 10 team in the nation, so no surprise here. But we wanted to show a little bit of a better game in a rivalry. It was a sold-out crowd as well. They wanted to make sure they rubbed it in our face, and they did just that. And the number 10 team in the nation, they're going to be inside the top 10 next uh, week probably. 
Uh, West gets our only touchdown in the game, four receptions for 37 yards. Isaiah Ford continues to impress, but he does have some drops here and there as well. He had 63 yards receiving. And then on the defensive side, uh, Wright and Moore, Cecil Moore gets a sack. You know, one guy that I have liked this year is Cecil Ford or Cecil Moore, but I think he can improve in the offseason maybe moving him over to defensive tackle Xavier Phillips has been non-existent the last four or five games he was our lone star on the defensive line probably through the first three games but he has definitely not been there as of late so now we go up against NIU who is three and six one and five in the conference and if you remember uh last what was that two weeks ago they actually got blown out by M Stam in a very weird game. But you can just see the injuries coming to this game. Edwards is hurt. It looks like Carter is going to be out a few weeks as well. He got hurt in the last game. So we are definitely banged up a little bit as Halka is also still out. And let's just see what we can do for our final home game as out comes Davis Lee. And this is more of an evaluation period at this point. Will we go 0-10 to start this year? Because we are nine, we have nine losses on the year going into this game. As the first pass is out to the right side, that is going to be almost picked off right away. And that brings it to a third and 10. Here is Davis Lee. He's going to buy some time and throw across the middle, but he just does not have the arm strength to get it to Isaiah Ford. He was open. And now fourth and 10. I mean, what do we have to lose now? Here's Davis Lee throw across the middle. It's Isaiah Ford. And that is a catch and a first down here. Gain of 13. So we do pick up the first, first, fourth down conversion of this drive. And looking on the next play, they send the pressure. It's a sack. And that's a loss of about eight yards as we finally get a couple back. But that brings it to a third and 15. Here is Lee. He's trying to scramble to the right side. And look, let's see if he throws. He will. And it's going to be dropped. Booker had it on the sideline. And wow, so many drops here in this season. And now fourth and 15 throw. Booker makes up for it. He uh, lunges out and gets that one. Gain of 18. It's a first down there for Booker. And now we get it to about the 47-yard line. Here is Lee. He's going to throw to left side. He's got Booker who breaks a couple of tackles. He picks up a block, and he gets down the sideline. He throws a stiff arm and makes it to about the 18. Gain of 35. Booker does have heart. That's one thing that I love about him. I compared him to Des Bryant before the start of this dynasty. He seems to be that type of mold. He's just a powerful receiver. He's not going to run the crispest routes, but he's going to get it done. So first and 10, scramble to the right side. Here is Davis Lee, touchdown, 18 yards for the quarterback. And we have our first opening drive touchdown, I believe, of the season, and we make it 7-0. One of our first leads here in this, in this dynasty as well, and now 7-0 as here comes Cabral at quarterback as he leads this NIU team out onto the field. So here's the first pass out to the right side. He's got Clement, who breaks the tackle, and he breaks down the sideline. Tackle by Ru Ming, gain of 36 yards, and it's a first down here for NIU. So now we look to send the pressure, but we change our minds at the last second. Cabral from the shotgun. He throws wide open McKinley, his running back, and he gets pushed out of bounds, and that's a gain of 25 for Robbie McKinley. And now they get it inside the 10-yard line, lined up here for a second and goal. Let's see what they do. They're going to hand off this time to McKinley, who picks up a block, breaks the tackle by Kyron Favors. He's in. Touchdown, 7-7, just like that. NIU strikes back. And now here we go, back out onto the field. So here is Davis Lee this time. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got Malcolm Tyree, gain of nine yards. And that brings it to a second and one this time. Here's a handoff. This time it's Colin Quaid in the game. We're going to get him some PT these last few games because what do we have to lose at this point? Well, like I said, we're evaluating the entire roster, and here's a quick throw across the middle. It's Isaiah Ford, and that's a gain of nine, and it's a first down. As now we get it to about the 33-yard line here from the shotgun. Lee throws to the right side. He's got Booker who goes up and gets it, keeps both feet in bounds. Gain of 11 yards. He's got three receptions for 64 yards in the first quarter. So now we get it to a second and 11. Lee throws across the middle. It's Malcolm Tyree. He has been impressive. He's been lining up in the slot in Jonathan Halka's absence. I really like 
uh, Tyree a lot. We'll see what his role is going forward in the future with all these incoming wide receivers as freshmen who are going to be on the roster next year. So Isaiah Ford does drop that first down. Here, second and 10, throw to the right side. It's going to be caught. Isaiah Ford makes up for it. And I kind of like that, though. At least our guys are making up for their drops. Isaiah Ford gets inside the five with that catch. And now we're inside the five here for a second and goal. Handoff. It's Colin Quaid. He's in. Touchdown. The first touchdown of his career. We'll have to see what we have with Quaid. I think with a better offensive line, maybe even a change of concept because we have Bam Cameron as our offensive coordinator. He wants to run the ball and get it to his running backs in every way possible. And it's 14-7 here for the River Cats. So here we are back out on defense. You can see Cabral in the pocket. No pressure on him at all. We had pressure the first few games. I don't know what has happened as we do get some pressure on that play. Here is Chapman, and he gets about 10 yards on that one as they eventually pick up the first down. As Let's see if we can come up with a stop here on this drive. Play action fake. Cabral throws across the middle. It's picked off. Rue Ming, he has been huge. The last few games, he has his first interception of his career. I actually kind of like him up in the box. He is really, really great at pursuing the football, and that is something that we will need in the future. I love what he does. And now we take back over at about the 20 as he run Tyree in motion here. Fake jet sweep, throw. It's picked off. We give it right back. Rodgers, and they sent the pressure. We had to get rid of it or take the sack. Sometimes you just got to take the sack. We probably should have on that play. We didn't have any options. And now NIU takes right back over as they line up here in the red zone. Here's a quick throw. Gary Berry, and he picks up nine yards on that one as that brings it to a second and one this time. Throw, and it's Porter. He's wide open. Breaks a tackle by Javon Warren and gets tackled by Ruming. And it's a gain of 12 as now they're inside the 10 here for a first and goal. Four wide receivers out there, throw. It's almost picked off Wyatt King. You gotta capitalize on those passes. And now the drive stays alive here for a third and goal. Throw, knocked away, Ru Ming again. He's making plays in this one, I love it. And we do get them to settle for the field goal. And now it's 14 to 10 here as we run a jet sweep with Malcolm Tyree to start out the next drive, and that's going to be a gain of three. And now we eventually get it to a third and four. We throw to the flats. It's Adrian West all by himself. Makes a man miss. He's still on his feet. He breaks a tackle, and he gets to about the 40. Gain of 29 by the 5'6 captain. And now we get it past the 50 as he run Colin Quaid in motion this time. Here is Lee. He's going to try to buy some time. He gets tripped up from behind. Loss of four yards. Tony Manning on the sack. And now that eventually brings us to a third and 14. Here is Davis Lee. He's going to scramble to the right side. He's going to try to get rid of it. And West comes back for it, but he just loses it maybe in the lights. He did not put his hands up. And now NIU takes back over as here is Cabral here from the shotgun all day. He's going to unload deep. He's got Clement, no pressure at all. And that's what I said. I said Cecil Moore, you know, he's been a decent player. I want to get some more pass rush. Xavier Phillips has been non-existent. Leon Christopher has been consistent, though. But here's a throw on the next play. Touchdown. Gain of 12. We definitely need to do something here on defense here in the offseason recruiting. I'm going to highlight recruiting probably more next episode. But now we're down 17-14 is let's see if we can take this lead right back before half. Here is Davis Lee. He runs to the left side and dives out of bounds. That stops the clock. Gain of nine as we eventually get it to a third and one. Here is Quaid breaking a tackle. And he will get enough for the first down. Gain of five. And now this drive continues here as we eventually get it across the 50. Here is Davis Lee. About a minute left here in the first half. He's going to take it to the right side. He dives again. Gain of 12. And it's a first down, and that one stops the clock. So now we eventually get it to about the 23-yard line. Here's a quick throw to the right side. Jeremiah Harris had it in room, but he steps out of bounds. The NIU defender took a chance, and now we line up at about the 12-yard line. Six seconds left here. Davis Lee, he's going to take it himself. Nobody's home. It's a touchdown. Davis Lee, 12 yards, and that's where he is dangerous. He does score at the end of the first half as time expires. 
20 to 17. We have our first lead at halftime in this series. Let's see what happens in the second half. So now we come out here to start the second half with the lead on defense. Here is Cabral. He throws across the middle. It's going to be caught by Jerry Berry, and he gets, or Gary Berry, he gets inside the 25-yard line with that catch, and that's a first down for him. As now they get it to a second and six. Quick throw. It's going to be caught. Porter, he's got room, and it's a touchdown. Ruming couldn't get there in time, and now NIU snags this lead right back. And now we're down 20 to 24 here. As now we come out trying to run a screen pass. Here's Colin Quaid. He gets it, but it's a loss of three yards, and that's a tackle in the backfield. And they get us two, a third and long. So now five wide out there. Davis Lee tries to buy some time. Nobody's home there, and he let's see if he picks it up. And he will. It's a gain of 15 yards. He needed 13, and it's a first down. As now this drive continues. Here is Colin Quaid, another handoff, five yards. I love it. They're blocking well for Colin Quaid this game, even though he only has nine yards carrying off of just seven carries. So play action fake this time. Here is Davis Lee trying to buy some time. He throws to the sideline, and it is dropped by Isaiah Ford. That was a first down on that one. And now fourth and 11. That one could come back to haunt us. Let's see if it will from the shotgun this time. Davis Lee throws, and it's Ford. He makes up for it on the sideline, gain of 15. There we go. At least he makes up for it. He's been doing that a, quite a bit in this episode. And now here to start the fourth quarter, running the options to the left side. It's going to be Joshua Paramore running in motion, but Davis Lee keeps it up the middle. It's a gain of three yards. So now third and seven this time. Davis Lee throws, and it's going to be intended for Colin Quaid, and he wasn't expecting that but he was open. He probably could have had at least about six or seven yards, but it sets up a fourth and seven. Lee, nobody to the left side. Let's see if he can get to the edge, and he can't. He is going to be sacked, loss of 10 yards. We thought we could run everybody to the right side and have the left side of the field open. It didn't work, and now NIU takes back over. So here is Cabral this time, running the option to the left side, and he will get stopped. Behind the line, we do need a stop on this drive and get the ball back. And now we get him to a second and long. Cabral throws to the right side, and it is Jeff Porter. And he picks up a gain of 15, and it's a first down. And now they get it across the 50-yard line. Six minutes left here in this game. Cabral throws wide open. Porter again. He's pushed out of bounds by Nick Sturger. And that gets it to about... The 21 yard line here for a second and one. Cabral, this time, let's see what he does. He throws wide open. It's Gary Berry again. 21 yards to about the one. He's got five receptions in this game as that brings it to a second and goal. Handoff. McKinley, touchdown. And just like that, this lead is stretched to two scores. And now here we are, back out onto the field. So here is Davis Lee this time. He's going to throw deep down the right side. He's got Andre Booker, who's been showing up lately. I love it. And now here we are inside the red zone just about. Lee scrambles to the left side. Let's see what he does. He throws on the run. It's caught. Joshua Paramore. He's got it to about the 10-yard line, gain of 14. And now... Three minutes left here in this game. Let's see what Davis Lee has in him. He throws. It's picked off, just overthrowing Isaiah Ford. That was supposed to be thrown underneath. Instead, he overthrows it. It's an air mailing. And now they take back over and score once again. And that lead just is too much to overtake. So now just a garbage time throw to the end zone. It's caught Isaiah Ford, touchdown. And wow. We squander that one. We had a chance there in the second half, but NIU took back over, caused a turnover, and we, they just didn't look back. They capitalized on every single possession. 38 to 28 ends up being the final score. We start out this dynasty 0 and 10, 10 straight losses. We need something, we need a spark. I don't know what it is, but I'm hoping in the final two games, we at least get one win, I'm hoping because we do go up against Western Michigan next episode. I'm hoping that's a winnable game. It could be. I guess we'll have to see. Andre Booker does go over 100 yards in this game. Isaiah Ford gets a touchdown off of five catches. Adrian West is kind of quiet, three for 43. 
And then on defense, Ru Ming has been impressive so far in these last, I'd say like three games or so. I want to see based on, you know, what these guys do in the next two games, who's going to really be competing for a starting job next year. I think every position has an open competition, including every receiver position. Maybe Adrian West has his. Isaiah Ford is, has the tight end position locked down for sure. But then I think the other positions are definitely up for grabs. And just looking at how this game went, we had 507 total yards of offense and we still lost. I mean, those are the type of games we've been losing here in this season. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Next episode will be a little recruiting plus a double header. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I be trying to do me, but they be trying to copy though. Only problem with that is they not me though. People act cool, but really they be shifty though. They say they got your back, but they ain't even behind me though. I be low key, but police be trying to find